I used to think that my limit repair was inevitably going to be only possible in a lab with experimental drugs and clinical trials. But the latest research shows something incredible. The cells that rebuild myelin aren't broken. They're just stuck. And that means we can wake them up naturally. Exactly. Those cells are called OPCs, oligodendrocyte precursor cells, and they're like construction crews waiting for permission to start. When they get the right signal, they mature into myelin, making oligodendrocytes and wrap fresh insulation around damaged nerves. Your job and your opportunity is to create the environment that tells them, go. That's what I've been chasing for years. And I've learned that my daily routine, weightlifting, niacin, iodine, fasting, and sleep, sends those green lights. Let me take you through each one and show you how I build my OPC wake up call. Let's start with weightlifting and your super maximal interval training on the rowing machine. Exercise is more than just fitness. Intense training releases BDNF and IGF-1, growth signals that tell OPCs it's time to multiply. Exercise also boosts mitochondrial energy production, giving those cells the power to finish the job. When I started wave loading back in 2013, 12 years, I was very weak. My fatigue and spasticity were through the roof. There were weeks, even months, where I would stop working out completely. Sometimes it was because I couldn't see a future. My symptoms were slowly improving, but the benefits didn't always feel like they were coming fast enough to keep going. But I, I stuck with it. Then in 2017, miraculously, something shifted. My spasticity started to ease. My fatigue really lightened, and that sparked a resurgence of hope. This hope that I've been, I had been waiting for for years. Both symptoms were still there, but the progress lit a fire inside me. At that point, I was training again, this time with more purpose. But when I lost Crocker in 2019, I lost focus again. That was a terrible time, but I came back the next year, overzealous, maybe a little too hard. I overtrained, pushed my nervous system past where it was ready, what it was really ready for. Inevitably, in 2022, I thought I was relapsing. But when solumedrol didn't work like it did back in 2008, I realized I was simply overdoing it. This wasn't really an, a relapse. That moment, that period of time, taught me balance. Since then, I've experimented with different workout schedules. And today, I feel like I finally found the sweet spot, hard enough to send the signal, but not so hard that I burn out. And the science backs you up. In both animals and humans, resistance training and high intensity intervals increase OPC proliferation and even thicken myelin sheaths. The message is clear, train like your brain depends on it. 
because it does. The next one came just this year. Niacin and niacinamide, my daily one-two punch. Niacin flips microglia, you know, the brain's immune cells from attack mode into cleanup crew mode. The clear out myelin debris, the very stuff that blocks remyelination. Niacinamide then fuels NAD plus production inside OPCs, keeping them young and ready to respond. It's a perfect pairing. Clearing debris removes the physical barrier to repair, while restoring cellular energy gives OPCs the drive to complete the process. In other words, niacin opens the road and niacin amide fuels the car. And now more than ever, I can feel that working. Since adding niacin this year, my walking has improved dramatically. My balance feels steadier. And my workouts hit harder. It's like someone finally turned the lights back on inside my nervous system. Then there's iodine. Thyroid hormone is the final green light OPCs need to fully mature into myelin making cells. If thyroid signaling is weak, remyelination can stall halfway through. Your daily iodine ensures your thyroid can send that signal loud and clear. Over the years, reading so many research papers, it led me to iodine. I went back into my Amazon account and I actually looked and looked when I bought it. It was October 2nd, 2018. I ordered my first bottle of Lugol's iodine solution. When I took it, I felt immediate energy. So I stuck with it. And over the next few years, I slowly increased how much I took. Eventually, I went overboard at eight drops a day. I started to develop a sore throat a few weeks later. And after several doctor visits and an ultrasound, I learned my thyroid was enlarged right here. My endocrinologist was worried, but Secretly, I knew what was happening. That was my, my another wake up call. I reduced my dose to three drops and switched from glucose to nascent iodine. Nascent is better absorbed by us. Uh, glucose is more of a uh, sanitation. <laughs> Uh, so I, I stick with nascent now. Within a week after I switched, my sore throat went away. Too much iodine can temporarily overstimulate the thyroid, causing swelling or soreness. But in balanced amounts, iodine ensures your thyroid hormone signaling stays strong, and that pathway is critical for OPCs to mature and wrap new myelin. Since then, the energy and recovery benefits have stayed with me. And I'm convinced this is part of my repair process. And that le leads perfectly into fasting, which plays its own role in waking up OPCs. Intermittent fasting activates AMPK and autophagy, cellular reset programs that sweep out damaged molecules and get cells primed to respond. It's like showing up to the job site early to clean up before the crew arrives. I eat once a day on my off, non-workout days, and in a tight four-hour window on workout days. Fasting keeps my energy steady, my inflammation quiet, and if the science is right, 
My OPC's ready for the next signal. And then comes the most underrated step, sleep. Deep sleep is when your brain turns on myelin-related genes and runs the glymphatic system to clear waste. Your potassium routine and caffeine-free lifestyle help you drop into those restorative cycles, which means OPCs get their nightly construction shift. I see the results every single morning. My Fitbit sleep scores are in the 90s now, and if not, they're in the 80s, high 80s. And I wake up feeling like my nervous system is just a little more coordinated, connected, more balanced, and ready to train. These changes may look small from the outside, but over time, they're transforming how I move and how I feel. Put all of this together and you've created the perfect environment, growth signals from training, debris cleared by niacin, thyroid support from iodine, cellular reset from fasting, and nightly construction during sleep. And we can't forget sunlight. Your daily time outdoors delivers UVB rays that support immune balance and natural vitamin D production, both of which help create a less hostile environment for repair. UVB light does more than raise vitamin D. It triggers skin immune cells to release tolerant signals like IL-10, calming autoimmunity in ways supplements can't fully replicate. That means your morning sun time is actively shaping a repair-friendly immune environment. And when you add that piece to exercise, niacin, iodine, fasting, and sleep, you get a complete system that works together. This is why I feel so confident that repair is happening. Not someday, but right now. And that's why I believe remyelination isn't just possible. It's happening. <laughs> I don't... I know this isn't just a theory I read online. It's what I see when I walk across my living room. Every day, I see evidence that my brain is building new connections. So if you're living with MS, don't just wait for the next breakthrough drug. Build the environment your cells need. Give them every signal to wake up, get to work, and rebuild what was lost. Picture yourself three months from now. Steady your steps better balance, maybe even feeling stronger than you thought possible. And once you start to feel recovery taking place, it builds on itself. The sky is really the limit. That's why I keep showing up and the reason I'm not stopping. And that's how neuroplasticity works. The more you practice, the more pathways you build, and the faster recovery accelerates. What about you? Have you felt moments where you could tell your body was repairing even if nobody else noticed? Drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your story. And make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more of the science and exactly what I do every single day. Until the next video.